you guys it's pokegirl7 here and today is fletchling community day in pokemon go so today we're on the hunt for some shiny fletchling and we also have triple catch xp so today is going to be a massive xp grind and it should be a lot of fun so let's go downtown and get started so we're going to go ahead and pop a lucky egg and get the xp grind and the shiny hunt started as you can see there's tons of fletchling around right here so what we're looking for is a fletchling with more of a yellow underbelly than white it's a little bit hard to tell at first but i think we'll notice it when we actually do see it so we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a shiny in the first we did we got it on the third try oh my god that was so fast literally my third check of the day i just started it's 2 p.m i think i'm going from two to five today i'm gonna be doing three hours that's crazy we got it already oh my goodness wow okay well we really just need three today so i can get all the evolutions in of course we're gonna try to get one with better ivs uh, also today we have the bravest bird ticket that I paid 99 cents for we're gonna do some research on that Wow, we got a shiny already. Let's check the IVs. Ooh, two star not terrible um, As you can see here, like I said, it has a little bit more of like a yellowish maybe not even yellow It's like a pale orange underbody and then like the wings have little yellow tips It's a little different than the normal fletchling, but it's kind of hard to notice right off the bat Let's do another shiny check and see if we get two back-to-back Okay, we didn't get the back-to-back -back shinies, but that happened so fast. That's so exciting. So now let's take a look at that research and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so here we have Professor Willow. I always skip the dialogue. I don't really care. Just give me the rewards. <laughs> okay, so apparently we completed the first part of that. I don't even know what that was. Probably like catch so many Pokemon or something. It looks like we're getting 20 candies for that. We need to catch 15 Fletchling. We've already caught six and then power up a Pokemon 10 times. So it's gonna be another one of those really easy researches and we're gonna get reward encounters. So we're gonna be completing that throughout the day today. We got a few here around this Pokestop. I'm feeling good about today. I think this is the first time we've had a new shiny on community day in months. Like I don't even remember the last one. I swear I think it's been almost a year guys. Am I crazy for thinking that? I'm gonna have to do my research and maybe edit something in if I made a mistake But it feels like it's been so long since we've had a new shiny on community day and oh, yeah We have the triple XP today So I'm gonna be using a lucky egg the whole time and trying to get on the XP grind because I do want to hit level 50 this year I'm trying to work on my total XP. So let's see if we can get an excellent throw Okay, that was too short Excellent throws are going to be giving us so much XP today. It's a little bit difficult though because it's such a small Pokemon, but either way, triple catch XP is really good even if you're not getting any sort of throw bonuses. Also, I'm noticing that the incense is spawning Fletchling like really frequently today, so we're going to try our best to catch tons of these. Uh, I want to get that XP. I'm starting to lose track of what I have and haven't checked at this point. Oh, he got shiny number two. Yes, 642 CP. Awesome. Second one of the day already. We barely even checked any of these. We're gonna have a really good day today. I'm feeling the positive vibes. I'm so happy to have a new shiny. Let's appraise. Okay, one star on that shiny, not the best. We're gonna try to get a better one. Incense shiny check. No shinies back to back. Come on, let's get an excellent throw. I got the lucky egg going. Everything's perfect, come on. I just can't, it's so little. Maybe if I do it with two hands, if I put the camera down. I want to try to get those excellent throws today, darn it. Okay, so we completed this part of the Bravest Bird special research. And now we have a special encounter. I think it's going to be a Fletchling. So let's do a shiny check. No shiny on that. It is a Fletchling. We were right about that. Let's try to catch it on the first throw with an excellent throw. I have been getting excellence off camera, but I, I don't know what it is. When I'm filming, I never get them. <laughs> So I'm trying to show you guys I am capable. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Ooh, I hate it here. I'm done <laughs> It's so funny though, but I have been racking up that XP. I I can't say it enough It's probably annoying how much I've said it at this point, but I can't believe we're getting a triple XP Event like this and with a lucky egg. It's just unbeatable for someone like me who does not have a lot of total XP And they're trying to hit level 50. This is the exact event that I needed uh, Stardust is great and all but give your girl some XP and she'll be happy So <laughs> we got some shiny checks here I've noticed I'm getting so many spawns from these incense and lures that I really don't even have to do anything right now Like I'm just walking back and forth in between everything and I'm getting tons of fletchling constantly we do need to power up a Pokemon 10 times. I have no idea what to power up. I've noticed a lot of these in the research quests we've had lately. I think I'm gonna power up this shiny Landorus that I got. Uh, this is the better IV one that I have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 
49,000 stardust. I've noticed so many of these quests and the research lately. It's taken a lot of stardust to complete that stuff sometimes. But let's go see what we get. We got 10 Pokeballs and then now we have an encounter, some stardust and some pineapple berries. Come on, shiny fledgling. No shiny on that. This is a good way to try for a good IV shiny fletchling though. So I am happy that that's the reward in this research. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys typically buy this research ticket that they have for like every community day now or do you skip on it? Like sometimes I feel like I don't really need it. But like I said, you could get a good IV shiny and you get some cool rewards. So I usually just stick with it. Uh, right now we have a three star that I could evolve. Uh, that's good enough for me, even if it's not shiny. Part two says to catch 15 fletchling, transfer 10 Pokemon and evolve three fletchling. Piece of cake. got my third shiny fletchling and I'm still working on that research I think I need to evolve one more of these I noticed I got my pokedex entry fletchinger and uh, talon flame I thought I had those I didn't even have them in the pokedex yet and I noticed that the fletchinger evolution counted as evolving a fletchling so now I only need to do one more evolution and we're gonna see how good the IVs are on this come on okay not very good we're getting a lot of three star fletchlings today I've noticed but none of them are shiny all the shinies have like two star or below but we're gonna do some shiny checks right here I really want to get a good shiny to evolve before the day is over that never really seems to happen for me on community day I'm not sure why but we're gonna go ahead and just evolve another one of the three stars that we got I'll show you guys here I've been getting a ton off camera that one's pretty good that one has 15 HP 15 defense another 15 defense Okay, that's the one that I evolved. It had 15 attack and defense and almost perfect HP. That one was really good. Let's evolve this 441 CP. And then after this, we're gonna be able to claim that research once again. We're really speeding through the research as usual. Now let's claim those 20 candies, the 10 Pokeballs, and then now we have that encounter. Ooh, we got a Fletchinder from that one. I hope it has good IVs. That would be another good one to evolve into a Talon Flame, hopefully. So we're exactly one hour in and we already have the three shinies, which was the main goal today. Now we're just gonna be messing around, taking some AR photos, looking for that good IV shiny. I love taking community days really chill these days. And just getting those three shinies to evolve and relaxing and taking it all in. We got a shiny check on incense. Oh, we got it. We got shiny number four. Yes, that's awesome. I'm so glad I decided to click on that before doing the next part of the research. Yes, I almost didn't do it. And we got an excellent throw on the shiny. That's perfect. Let's see if we can get it on the first throw. Come on, we got it. That is so cool. That was seriously the perfect moment. Okay, 7,020 XP. Let's appraise. <sighs> One star once again. That's okay though. That was still perfect. Come on, shinies back to back. Okay, no shiny. Now let's look at that research. We do have another encounter along with some XP. I'm thinking it's gonna be Fletchling or Fletchender. It is a Fletchling, not shiny. And as soon as I turn the camera off, I just got shiny number five on incense once again. I swear I could just play this whole event on incense or something. <laughs> We have five. It is 3.02 p.m. So within two minutes of me saying that we're one hour in, I have three shinies, I've already gotten five shinies. That is crazy. So it took us two hours and two minutes to get those five shinies. And come on, please have good IVs. Ooh, a little bit better. It has 15 defense and I think that's 14 HP. Low attack, so it is still a two star. But I might try to get some opinions on this in the PvP community and see if it's worth evolving. I think I'm going to go ahead and evolve it just to be safe let's just go for it let's get that first shiny talon flame of the day i have heard that this can be good in pvp but i'll have to have some help from some of my 
friends that are um, hardcore battlers because I don't really know everything about it. I think it's getting the incinerate exclusive move and I've heard that that's going to be a good move for it. So let's do it. That shiny Fletchinger is actually really cool by the way. That's the first time I've really seen it. I think it's a little bit darker of an orange color. I don't even know what shiny Talonflame looks like. This is my first time seeing it. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is so much cooler than regular Talon Flame. I love that. It's like more red. It's more like a burnt orange color. That's so cool. And it does have Incinerate as its fast move and Fire Blast as its charge move. Like I said, I'm gonna talk to my PvP experts, but I love this Talon Flame. It's so pretty. So now we're on part three of the Bravest Bird. Apparently one of those was to evolve a Fletchling. So we got that. We gotta make three great curveball throws and transfer 10 Pokemon. Looks like we're getting some pretty nice rewards for that too. One of them was a rocket radar, which I always love. Come on, great throw. Boom, we had to get three great throws. I think we need one more. Great throw, boom, got it. So we completed that. Transfer 10 Pokemon, transfer. And now we finished part three just like that. We got 2000 XP one Team Rocket Radar, and some Ultra Balls. And part four is gonna be all reward. So I think we just finished the Bravest Bird already. It took us a little bit over an hour. We got a Silver Planet Berry, some XP, a Special Encounter, Fletchling once again, surprise. And now it's the big moment. We got some Stardust, some Rare Candies, and an Encounter. I'm pretty much betting it's gonna be a Talon Flame with Incinerate. Don't think it can be shiny, but just for the heck of it, let's do a shiny check. Okay, that's not shiny, right? Okay, <laughs> it could have good IVs though, and that's like a guaranteed uh, talent flame that you don't have to use candies for. So let's appraise uh, two stars. That's not a very good talent flame. I'll keep it just because of incinerate, but I already have better ones than that, so I don't really need it. Okay, well now I guess it's time to chill out a little bit, take some AR photos, get on the XP grind, and I'll see you guys when something exciting happens. got shiny number six yes what is happening right now it is 308 p.m guys an hour and eight minutes six shinies already what is even happening right now i'm not even really like hardcore grinding they're just coming to me on the instance and lures and all of that stuff like community day is so easy these days uh, sometimes it makes the shinies a little bit more boring but i feel like today that's not really happening because it's a brand new shiny and it's just so cool to actually be able to hunt something new like this. just got shiny number eight so I did get my seventh one off camera I think I recorded the screen but I didn't like vlog it but yes I do have eight shinies now I'm feeling pretty satisfied even if I don't get that good IV shiny I'm feeling pretty good today um, it's just been a great day finding new shinies getting the XP best community day in a really long time and okay we got two stars on that one once again but yeah like I said I am pretty satisfied with how things have turned out today I may evolve a few more talon flames to get that incinerate move maybe a couple more of my regular ones with good IVs and maybe like one more shiny and I think I'm going to evolve one of the shiny Fletchlings into a Fletchender just to have the shiny in my collection. But that's basically a wrap for Fletchling Community Day. Overall I had a fantastic day so let me know in the comments down below how your Community Day went. How many shinies did you get? And I'm going to wrap up this video right here so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!